All right, hello YouTube. Um, today has the last day of January 2021, and it's been a couple of weeks since I made my last video. Well, here I am going to tell you about this washing machine I bought about four to five months ago. It's the LG washing machine. Um, the this is a front-loading device, and the reason why I got it is because my previous Panasonic was an old top-loading machine, and the net was not doing well, the cover was broken, I mean the top-loading uh, front was broken, so I decided to get this, and this has worked really well for me so far. Before I got this particular model, um, let me just find the model number here, I'm not able to find it but it is one of these anyway um, it retails here in Singapore for about 900 Singapore dollars or about 700 US um, it is very uh, convenient it, it rolls up to it does up to nine kilos nine kilos of uh, clothes so it works really well and it, and actually you can get this together with the dryer but I chose not to get it with the dryer because I don't have space and also the dryer takes time yeah there's also a combo a washer dryer combo that I was that I was thinking about getting but it didn't really work doesn't really work, work well for me and a lot of other reviews I read oh did maybe I can I can see it right here maybe you can see yeah the model number right here um, it is the Z FV one four zero six three W which doesn't make any sense to anyone, I think. But anyway, this one has a steam function. It has direct drive, nine kilo, kilos. Um, there are a ton of different options here that you can use. And yeah, so this is what happens when you turn it on. There are this cotton, cotton plus, turbo wash 59, mixed fabric, easy care, silent wash, allergy care. So it's very tactile, uh, it's a ta tactile button. And it works really well, but guess which one I use? I only use this one. 90%, <laughs> 95% of the time I use cotton only because it is the most reliable and obviously most of my most of, most of our clothes are cotton, so that is what you want to go for. However, there are many other functions that you can add. So once you put the clothes in, you hit um, you know wash, uh, and it'll start. Um, you know shaking around and it'll try to figure out how heavy your clothes are you can you can hit pause and you can you know steam your clothes oops sorry I don't really want this but you can hit steam which will add an, an hour to the to the wash time you can hit wrinkle care which will make the clothes like keep on spinning round and round up and until you're free to take the clothes out so it doesn't get wrinkles pre washes for clothes that are very dirty and so, yeah, you wanna, you wanna, you know, give an additional bit of um, cleaning to the clothes. Uh, delay end is when you're sleeping, for example, and you don't want to wake up in the middle of the night to wash your clothes. I mean, to take out your clothes, and you can delay the end time. And of course, add item is obvious. If you forget to add something, you can pause it and you can add it later. Now, it, this mantle was invaluable for me, just because there's so many crazy modes here and each each section here shows you um, you know what what each is for so yeah there's a duvet for you know bed sheets and um, quilts um, turbo wash obviously is it's the fastest mode where you, you finish it in 59 minutes um, cotton plus is when you want it cleaner than cotton and the temperature is also mentioned uh, it's also stated right here so this is all very self-explanatory if you keep the manual so I really do recommend that you keep it in a place that is easy to find if you're doing washing various kinds of things um, for me uh, this is a big upgrade over my previous one because this has Wi-Fi I, I use an app on my phone um, let me know if you want the uh, to show you how to use the app in a separate video I can do that uh, but the app is really useful because it tells you when the washing machine is done and it tells you how many minutes more the washing machine will take. Um, yeah, so Steam, uh, this is a Steam functionality. Uh, it's made 
I actually partially chose this one because I like the design of the front facing that you can see me, you know, reflected right there. But it's very shiny. It's very, I don't know, it's very attractive uh, having come from glass, I mean from plastic lids my whole life. Uh, and also, why did I choose a front um, loading washing machine is because it uses less water and it is especially gentle on clothes. So, you know, when there's a little bit of water sloshing around, it just moves and then gravity will naturally wash your clothes in addition to the grooves on the inside right here um, of this. So it's stainless steel, it's, it looks brand new even though I've used it for about five months now. Um, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wipe all of this stuff all of this, these wet surfaces after you, uh, after you wash your clothes, just to keep it dry. Otherwise, there'll be a, there, there might be a smell. I'm not sure, but I have a fan right here, and this fan is blowing, and it's drying out the washing machine. It's accelerating the drying, so I don't really worry about all of that. When I, when I come back after I don't know two or three hours of the fan drying it, it's bone dry, and I don't care. Uh, I don't need to care so much about you know keeping this washing machine clean another thing you need to do after washing with this one is this so i never use a front loading washing machine um, at home before and when i decided to get this um, i realized that okay in order to remove the lint there unlike a top loading washing machine of a net this is the thing you need to take out so first <clears throat> let me show you uh, there's this Thing here it'll come stuck inside so all the water needs to be released and you need to put it in you need to take it out and put a little dish right here and the dish will collect the water and uh, once this entire thing is dry you can then re remove the lint cover um, and it'll come with some I don't know some uh, tissue paper or some lint or you know even some soap suds that weren't completely cleaned out from the last wash and you can just go rinse it in the sink and you know dry this and this will prevent any uh, mold, mold from accumulating in the washer uh, yeah and it, it will also keep your washing machine smelling and looking new so I'm just gonna put it right back because I did I did wash my clothes last night I, in fact I wash my clothes almost every day and I'm gonna put this back as well so you can see how it looks like when it is yeah so this is what it looks like and I take this cover off because I don't stack my washer and dryer, so there's very little space between the floor and uh, this uh, this this water outlet right here. So I take it out so that I can put the bowl right here um, and drain the water more efficiently. So yeah, this is the only big difference from the top loading washing machine, and I do appreciate. Um, you know other YouTube videos teaching me how to how to uh, take control of how to take care of this and maintain this uh, new washing machine that I got so yeah uh, my first Wi-Fi washing machine it's worked really well so far um, it's been quite quiet Wi-Fi functionality uh, cell phone app um, so I I'm pretty pleased with it I don't I don't see myself changing this for quite a few years and yeah that is that is it for my quick review my non-professional review of this machine let me know if you've got any questions about this or, or the app um, if you're looking into buying this uh, you know just um, yeah just watch the video or you can type your questions in the comment section and I'll answer it and finally if this video was helpful to you please like or subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in the next one bye